Hey there, Statesman Nation, and welcome to another season of preview. Today we have head women's volleyball coach Alicia Cleaver. Coach Cleaver, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So uh, to start today, uh, let's get a little talk about uh, how uh, last season went. Just a little reminder. So uh, what went well? What, re what went poorly last year that you could improve on this year? Um, yeah. Last year we had a ton of new faces, there. so I think um, team chemistry was something that we just never really fully met our you know expectations, um, and so that is something we've really pushed for this upcoming season. But I think that was something that was tough was just we had so many new girls and so many new positions, and just trying to figure everybody out was kind of what hurt us, I think, in mm -hmm. terms of our record. Um, but we have you know so many returning now. I think that will be a strength for us moving forward. Is that because we have so many returners? Um, the team chemistry is really strong this year. Great. So obviously we're entering into a bit of a different season than you're probably used to having. So how did that affect the way that you handled your off season and recruiting and everything that goes with that? Yeah, um, the off season was you know kind of non-existent, just with no one being here. But we also actually did have quite a few girls who were able to stay in town and do workouts. And, nice. Um, that was good, you know, and they, and they definitely have shown they're you know they're very explosive right now. They're very strong. Um, you know, conditioned, they're ready to rock and roll. Um, but the girls that weren't in town did a really good job too of staying in shape, staying on their workouts, staying on top of things. Um, and we were able to kind of start right back where we left off um, and incorporate the newcomers right in. And it was it was really seamless. And I think you know with everything that was going on, that was that was you know a really bright spot for us. Was nice. you know being able to have everybody come in and, and ready. And there wasn't you know a lack of conditioning or a lack of volleyball touches. Like people came in ready, prepared. But I think that goes to show, you know, how bad the girls really want to be out there, you know, playing volleyball. Nice. Um, but yeah, so that's that was exciting. In terms of recruiting, um, you know, the downtime left a lot of time for recruiting. Sure. So yeah. um, we're really excited with the, the newcomers that we have, um, and we're kind of excited to see them hit the court here soon. Good. So how has this whole situation handled, uh, affected how you've handled your preseason prep for the season? Um, you know, we have to include some hand washing stations and some breathing stations. Yeah. Um, but overall, you know, we're playing volleyball and that's the main part. So we're excited for that. Uh, the girls do a really good job with it. They, you know, they're working their butts off day in, day out. And so overall, you know, they might look a little different, but at the core of it, we're still playing volleyball and we're still working hard. Nice. So uh, looking at your schedule, you have, this year you have uh, four non-conference games before your first conference game. Last year you had nine. So does that affect the way that you handle, approach anything? Um, we got to learn and grow really quickly. <laughs> uh, we might have some young girls, you know, getting some minutes, uh, some new transfers coming in as well. Um, so, you know, there's not a lot of time to kind of get everything running as best as we can. Um, yeah. But, you know, that first weekend will be really important, and it'll be really important to, to see a lot of girls play and kind of see what people do come game time. Sure. Um, and so hopefully, you know, with another week of practice after that, we can kind of have things sparkling for that first evangel match. Okay, nice. So looking at the roster, uh, you had five seniors last year that departed. Uh, who, who do you have, what kind of big names do you have returning this year? What kind of big names do you have that maybe fill those spots on varsity? Yeah, um, we have quite the returning bunch. Um, you know, Corinne Lepper, all-conference players returning sure. for us. Um, and Cameron Campbell is returning all-conference player for us as well. Okay. Um, and so, you know, those are two key pop parts for us coming back, but then we also have, you know, Vivi, who's had a lot of time in, um, you know, we have four sophomore or four sophomores now who are freshmen last year who saw some court time. Okay. Um, they're all returning. Uh, we have a handful of, you know, transfers coming in and, you know, a couple of freshmen who I think, you know, are going to really be vying for some time. Mm -hmm. uh, but we brought in a new transfer in the middle spot, which is going to kind of open the court for us in terms of being able to move current around a little bit more. Nice. Um, but I think the transfer that we brought in and, and the freshmen that we have coming in, I just think it um, has added some depth. And so we're able to kind of change things up more um, and move people around. And, and I think that's going to be something that'll be nice because we'll get to see Corinne hit on the pin a little bit more. Okay. Um, which will be fun for everybody. Uh, but that opens it up to, you know, we have, you know, some strong middles, and I still, I still yeah. think we'll be strong in the middle. Okay. Um, but I think the pins will be big for us. Um, and then we have Kiana, who's, you know, coming back as well, and she's looking really strong and really aggressive, and we're excited to kind of see um, everything come full circle and, you know, put some jerseys on and, and play in that first match. Cool. So even though your non-conference schedule is a little bit short and your conference schedule is more or less the same than it was last year, so take us through what, some, what the heart play might look like this year. Yeah, 
Um, not a whole lot's changed. Looks pretty similar, but um, you know those games are really, really important. Um, and so it's always nice to have some matches beforehand that kind of get things going and get the kinks out. Um, but we don't have that time now, yeah. so we've got to get things going and, and get them going early. But um, you know, I think the girls are excited and they're antsy and they want to go play. And so hopefully that kind of drives the, the fuel or fuels to the fire and, and they're able to kind of get on top of things right away. It's looking like they might be big contenders in the heart this year. Who looks like? Yeah. Um, Heart is so strong. Everybody's, you know, vying for the top. But um, you know, the typical Grandview, CMU, and, and now Park coming in; those are definitely some top teams. Um, but you know, it's just a really strong league, and it's very, very tough night in and night out. And so that's something that we also have to get the girls accustomed to, and understanding that you know everybody's tough. And yeah. there's going to be a lot of five setters, four setters, tough matches. You know, 26, 24. You know, it's going to be tough night in night out. Um, and so I feel like hopefully with you know the returners we have, they have that experience and that understanding of how tough mm -hmm. it is, um, and they're going to be able to kind of mentally fight through some of those those uh, points of adversity. Mm -hmm. So give us a, give us a little overview of how you think the 20, 20 season might go. <laughs> um, I'm really excited, I, and it's hard to make um, you know this is how it's going to go when I haven't seen them put a uniform on. But um, I'm very optimistic and I'm very excited. I just feel like um, our experience and our leadership is is pretty awesome. But I think our team chemistry and team culture is just the best I've ever seen. Um, I'm really excited for that, and the girls feel it. They're energized. They're excited. Their energy's there. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that plays into it, and I think that's something that we not necessarily had every single year, and so to kind of come full circle now and, and to really hit the, the leadership part, the team culture, team mm -hmm. chemistry, um, and now it's time to go perform as well. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to be working with you guys this year. Awesome. Coach Cleaver, thank you for joining me today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank, thank you, you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.